In this lecture, we will install TeamCT build agent on an Ubuntu machine. Other Linux-based operating systems are similar. Before we install anything, we always have to update using sudo apt-get update and we have to upgrade using sudo apt-get upgrade and then reboot the system, which I have done just to save time. After you have updated and upgraded your operating system, because the TeamCity build agent is a Java application, we have to install JDK. You can install the latest version, but TeamCity needs JDK 8 or higher. So we can install it using sudo apt get install. You can install OpenJDK. If you want, OpenJDK 8 JDK and that will install JDK. Okay, just to confirm that JDK is installed, we can run java-version and that will give us the version and that means and confirms that JDK is installed. I clear the screen. Now we need to get the build agents package. We can do that using a wget command and you have to get this package from your TeamCT server. If we go to my TeamCT server, this is the TeamCT I have installed. It is on this address. You just have to grab this and go back to your terminal and paste this there. And after that, the package is always in slash update slash build agent.zip it is always there and as you see i downloaded 18.3 megabytes which is the package and now we need to unzip this we can get the unzip package from the repository using apt get install unzip and that gives us the unzip package and that helps us to basically unzip the build agent package now I can unzip this package using unzip and the package name was buildagent.zip and the dash D is destination. I can uh, unzip it in a folder called buildagent and it's completely unpacked. If I do ls you will see that there is a blue build agent which is basically the folder. If I just go to that folder you will see that there is a conf folder, which is the configuration folder. And there is a file called buildagent.dist.properties. That is the distribution copy of the configuration file. And we need to basically clone it, but as the actual configuration file, which must be named buildagent.properties. So we can do a cp command and say buildagent.dist.properties will go to buildagent.properties. So if I do ls now I have build agent.properties. Now we need to edit this. So I can say sudo nano build agent properties. And all we need to do in here is to specify the address of TeamCT server so that the agent can connect to it. Again, if we go to our server, the address can be picked up from the browser. And all we need to do is to go to server URL and replace that. If you haven't set up reverse proxy, make sure that you include the port, which is by default 8111. And that's all you need to do. And now I just save and exit. And we need to go one folder back and go to bin folder. If I do ls command, you will see that there is agent.sh file. We need to just run it with sh command and pass the command start and that will start your build agent now if i go back to team ct and click on agents an authorized agent it may appear after a couple of seconds and that is because as i said when agent comes up it connects to team ct but for security reasons team ct expects you to authorize it so we just click on authorize and we authorize it once you authorize the agent sometimes it goes to a disconnected tab and that is because if the agent comes up and sees that it needs to download some extra components then it does it automatically so we just have to wait for like a minute and then it will go automatically to connected tab as you see now disconnected is zero connected is one that means we have one agent successfully connected to team city 
and this Linux icon means that it's a Linux based operating system. I said that before, if you want to use Linux based operating system, your actual Team City server doesn't have to be installed on Linux, it can be Windows as well. Now, uh, the next step is that anything you need in order to compile and package your code or run unit tests on it, you can install it on your Ubuntu. For example, you can install PHP or Node.js or anything that you need, you can install it. All the command line tools that you need in order to compile, package your code or test it has to be on the build agent. I hope you enjoyed this lecture. We go to next lecture and uh, work with a project.